Welcome to Goes Inters. In this lesson I'm going to try and use um, some of my multiplication basic facts to help me answer some division questions. So let's start with this one here. 24 counters shared between 6 groups, so I want to know how many counters will be in each group. Let's just draw a picture to see what that would look like. So I have 6 groups, so I'll draw those over here. And you can see here that I've got 24 counters, so I need to find a way of sharing those 24 counters into each of these groups. Well, one way to do it would be to share them out one at a time, so I could put one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Then I could go around again and put another one in each group. So now there's two in each group. And then I could go around again and put another one in each group. But you can see that this is a really slow way of doing it. I'm going to get the right answer, but it's just going to take lots of time. So instead, I'm going to see if I can try and use my multiplication basic facts to help me um, answer this question. Well, I can see that there's six groups. I'm going to write that there. And I'm thinking six groups of some amount would equal the whole 24 um, counters that I've got to share out. Well, I know from my basic facts that six times four is 24. So 24 um, counters shared between six groups means that there would be four counters in each group. And if I go around and actually finish that off, sharing out one more, you can see that in this group I have four, four here, four here, four here, four here, and four here. And if I add them up, that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So I've shared out the whole amount into six groups, and I was right. There are four in each group. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try 32 counters uh, shared into four groups. So I'm imagining what that's going to look like. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups. And this time I'm not going to share them out individually because you saw from the last bit that it just takes so much time. Instead, I'm going to try and use my basic facts. Well, again, I can see there's four groups. So I'm going to write four groups of something equals the whole 32 counters that I've got to share out. Right, four times what is 32? Well, I know from my basic facts that four times eight is 32. So 32 uh, counters shared between four groups must be eight. And we can check that by putting 8 in each group, adding them up and seeing if we're if we correct. 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus another 8 is 24, 24 plus another 8 is 32. So I've shared up the whole amount, I've got my four groups, and I know how many are in each group. Let's try one last one. 35 counters, which I want to share between 7 groups. So, I'll draw out my 7 groups. groups. Um, six, seven. Now hopefully you might not have to draw these out, you might be able to imagine these in your head. So now I'm thinking, what multiplication question will help me answer this? Well, I can see I need 7 groups. So I'll write that down, and I'm thinking how many will be in each group, so that I will have shared out the full 35 counters. So I think about my multiplication basic facts, and I go 7 times what equals 35, and I know the answer is 5. So 35 counters shared between 7 groups must mean I put 5 in each one. And just like last time, I can check my answer by writing in 5 in each group. And now the last thing I need to check is that I'll have shared out the full 35. So I can do that by going 5 plus 5 is 10, plus another 5 is 15, plus another 5 is 20, plus another 5 is 25, plus another 5 is 30, plus another 5 is 35. So yep, I've shared out the whole amount, I've shared them into the 7 groups, that the question tells me to, and I worked out how many 
will be in each group? And the answer was five. Hopefully this lesson has been helpful. Uh, if you need any more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.